been like starting up a company that's had so much impact on the social networking space within businesses? It's extremely exciting. I mean, you have to be a little bit crazy to think you can start a startup and build something big anyway. And so I think we had some of that bravado to start with, but it's always amazing to see something you've created become so big. Uh, just showing, just coming here to the UK office and seeing a whole other office that's grown up what, with what once was just four guys in a room coding is, is completely amazing and mind-boggling. Mm. What do you think actually helped you get this far? I think we took a very different approach to building the product than other people in the enterprise space. We came at it with a much more consumer-like mentality of really building a, a product for end users and not just for uh, a specific subset of buyers. I also think we just had a lot of passion for what was going on in companies in general, the sort of larger change around empowering employees and thinking about companies as more than, than just um, a bunch of people following a bunch of rules. Uh, and, all, and I think our customers really sense that and sort of flock to us because of that. And how is the journey taking Yama over to the UK? How or why? <laughs> um, it's been really interesting. You know, we. we we came to the UK originally because uh, we had a lot of customers here. We had a lot of customers throughout Europe. And so originally we, we had brought sales and our customer support service here and had found a lot of really great talent there. And then eventually we asked ourselves, maybe we should bring engineering there as well. And we, we looked all around uh, the US and we looked in, uh, here at London and we found that London had, was really an untapped resource for engineers. So we started the engineering office here in January or February, and now we've got a pretty great autonomous team that's building uh, big features for and shipping big features for mm -hmm. Yammer.com. Are there any tips that you give other startups if making their way to London Tech City? Um, I would definitely say they should come here. I'm hoping that not too many come here for our sake because then they'll take our engineers. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, take all the engineers. But the, no, there, there's a lot of untapped talent. I think that they're different than the kinds of engineers we see in Silicon Valley. And so you have to approach hiring them very differently. Uh, I, we've had a lot of success just getting involved in the community, uh, just finding the different get-togethers for different engineering events and whatever, and making a presence shown. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about what it means to work at a startup too. Uh, and so we've had to really go and, and help educate the community as, to why it's so great to work at a startup where you have so much more agency and so much more impact over the final product being built.